what's up nuke the fridge this is lewis here and i'm super excited because i have cassandra peterson aka elvira mistress of the dark she has a new video out don't cancel halloween and i'm gonna guarantee you right now i'm gonna say it right now it's gonna become the new anthem we're already at over eleven thousand views in less than 24 hours oh, how you doing welcome cassandra thank you so much for this oh thank you i'm just saying from your mouth to satan's ears <laughs> hope that happens awesome yeah it is i think it's really gonna every t look i've been refreshing this thing every uh one minute and there's like at least 20 at a time 20 at a time and so many good comments it's it's really something we need uh this year especially it's brought a smile to my face and it brought a smile to a lot of people's face. How long were you planning to do this? Uh, have, has this been in the works? Boy, I started, uh, God, what month? You know, I've lost track of time. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> a couple months ago, I was talking to um, my friend Holly Knight, who wrote, came up, she produced the music on the video. And she's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She's written for Tina Turner, Errol Smith, um, Oh my God. And everybody you can name brilliant songwriter. And I was just talking to her and um, we came up with this, this idea. Would it be funny to make some kind of a song about, you know, Halloween? Cause it looks like it might suck this year, you know? So we started joking around with it. Then I talked to my friend, Jackie beat, who is a fantastic drag queen here in LA is brilliant. Mm -hmm. And um, um, we were joking around about it and thought of the, um, the song that we chose that we parodied and uh, then we just started working on it it has been a long road it took a long long time to get it all together look uh you're right it looked like halloween was gonna suck but i think it turned uh, it went up it went up yesterday that's all that's all i can say uh was bringing a smile to people's face your intent was that the intent from the yeah. start Yes, like having a little fun with it, you know, I mean, Halloween is going to look very different. And it certainly is for me. It'll be the first time I've stayed home in like almost 40 years on Halloween. So it's a totally different trip for me. But I thought, you know, doing something funny and current um, and, you know, make people a little entertained at Halloween would be a really good idea. So that's what we set out to do. I think one thing people notice is the uh, sustained energy you've had uh, the, in this video. The energy is so positive and so great. Could you give us common people a little bit of advice how you keep that up? Because it's so like awesome. <laughs> Uh, lots of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a really cool pain. Uh, <laughs> oops. Sorry. Uh, no, it is actually, <laughs> it gives me a real buzz. Uh, how I keep the energy going? I don't know. I just, um, I don't know. I, I have fun doing it. So I, you know, I, I, uh, I enjoy it. And I think that's the key to anything that you do. If you really enjoy it, you're going to put a lot of energy into it. Yeah. You know, I spoke to a few friends I have at radio stations and stuff, and uh, I showed them the video and stuff. They're excited to play the track. Is it going to be available anywhere else? Uh, maybe to purchase outside of YouTube and, uh, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. iTunes or something. Is that the yeah. plan? Sadly, because it's a parody song. No, it won't be available for purchase, you know? So, um, yeah, that's a bummer, but it'll be all over the internet and you'll be able to see it on YouTube forever. I think it's going to be viral. Uh, a new anthem. I think we could use this like for every Halloween, honestly. Uh, if you, if oh, you ask me. <laughs> you've yeah. uh you know about your horror movies and stuff and i saw another interview with you earlier where you they asked you what's your worst your you, the the movie you dislike the most as far as horror but i'm gonna ask you something different what's your favorite horror movie oh my god it's so hard to say because there's so many that i love but you know this is like going way way back it's a real oldie but it got me hooked on horror when i was in maybe second grade or uh -huh. around eight or nine years old um it was house on haunted hill with vincent price and oh, i yeah. saw it not that long ago and it's still really good it holds up it's really creepy and scary yeah that's one thing about about horror movies they 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 stick around forever if they're good they're good no matter when 100 years from now outside of horror is there a favorite movie you have oh outside of horror oh yeah it would be so boring for people i was just thinking <laughs> another horror movie i really really love and i've seen so many times um i love comedy horror movies like Shaun of the dead big mm, favorite yeah. you know a million times but also the witch 
I love The Witch. I don't know why. I got so hung up on that movie. And get out. But um, regular movies that I love, um, <laughs> I don't know. I was just mentioning someone, Annie Hall, because I'm this giant Woody Allen freak. And I mean, all of his movies, actually, I, I love. I'm, I just love Woody Allen movies. So maybe other than horror, that's my, that's my favorite films. Cool. I think we have a nice little exclusive because I doubt people ask you out of the other than horror <laughs> questions uh, yeah. once in a while. I had the pleasure of meeting you at a convention called Mad Monster in Arizona. And I noticed that, you know, I'm stuck in the LA bubble. Some of us are, we don't travel that much, but I noticed that a lot of people love to cosplay Elvira mistress of the dark and dress up and, and stuff like that. What was your reaction when you first saw that? Like people dressing up like a character you pretty much created. Um, yeah, the first time I saw somebody dressed like that, I think it was a man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it was a drag queen uh, at a drag bar, and he was dressed as Elvira during a show, and I was just like, oh, my God, people are dressing up as me? And that's when I went out and got a costume deal so that we could sell those little suckers. <laughs> uh, I've always wondered, because uh, you're you're a legend, all right? I know you get told that a million times. I mean, my comments are all full, like legend, legend. W out of your career that you could tell me right now, what was your what is your fondest memory? Is there something that stood out that stands out uh, that just keeps coming uh, to mind? Oh, you mean just over my career about things that? Yeah, I don't know. Probably meeting some of my idols, my my favorite actors, musicians. You know, uh, um, growing up and then suddenly I'm meeting them and they're saying, oh, my God, I love you. That was just <laughs> kind of mind boggling to me. Like, I don't know, like, who, you know, Michael Jackson was one. That, and he was oh, wow. oh, I'm a big fan. You know, he actually told me I, he wanted to use me in um, Thriller as the voice. But they took Ben Surprise anyway, which I'm very happy that they did because I just adore him. But um yeah, meeting some of my, my icons over the years and having them tell me they liked my character, Paul McCartney. Um, I don't know. I, I could name a zillion of them. I'll, I'll just shut up. But I don't know. For me, growing up with these people and then having them say that, it was just a thrill, you know? Just has, a, has a popularity uh, grown in time? Uh, do you feel? Is it, or is it just different? Like the, the popularity has definitely grown. It has boomed. It's bizarre because um, for a while I thought all my fans were going to just get old and <laughs> die. You know? And they thought, oh, when am I going to do that? And then what happened, I think it was really with the advent of the internet, it gave me a new life because I wasn't out there making a lot more TV shows or movies. So the internet just uh, allowed me to show a lot of the stuff a lot of people hadn't seen all over the world and and uh brought the character back and my my, the, my fans have been getting younger younger and younger i mean next year they might be fetuses <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty awesome i, I spoke to an 18 year old person the other day and i told them uh, I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna interview elvira oh my god I was like, yeah I, know, I, I got a marriage invitation from a guy who's 22 yesterday so that that's pretty oh, good, right? Pretty good. Uh, listen, look, uh, our, our site, we cater to nerds and geeks and stuff, and we're always wondering what's in the future. And we want to know what's in the future uh, for Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, or for you personally. I understand you're working on a Kickstarter project that is starting to rumble. It's starting to gain traction. And I'm going to ask everyone to support it. But can you talk a little bit about, about that uh, project? Yeah, it, uh, I've been. I've had several comic books over the years, uh, DC, Marvel, uh, Claypool. Now I'm with uh, Dynamite Comics, and they've been. Uh, I, I've been collaborating with them on this project for a long time called the Omega Man, mm -hmm. and uh, it's finally out. And I'm working with David Avalone and Dave Acosta, both brilliant writer and artist. And uh, it's about these COVID times that we're going through. And yeah, they put it up on Kickstarter and it has been going crazy. And we're giving awesome little uh, perks when you donate. Um, mm. My newest perk is an Elvira uh, Ouija board called an Elvira Spectral Switchboard. But mm. uh, that's a really fun little perk if you you know give money to the Kickstarter thing. So really excited about that coming out because it's a super special edition. 
And we're going to leave the information for all this on the description area here on YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube. So don't worry about that. Uh, and also you're working on another thing in search of, uh, uh, in search of, uh, what was it? Uh, is that darkness? in search of darkness? Yeah. Uh, is that pretty much, is that linked to the Kickstarter or what's that about? Um, no, it's not linked to the Kickstarter, but it is a um, compilation of 80s horror films. Um, I'm hosting it. And uh, we had the first edition come out uh, several months ago, and it did just phenomenally well, so well that we came out with the second one. And it's got a lot of movies that we weren't able to include in that one, a lot of 80s horror, which happens to be one of my favorite time periods of horror, and some of my favorite movies came out of that time period. So we have... Um, we have uh, that coming up, and and so everybody needs to look for that. You can see that on uh, any of my social media at Elvira, uh, at what is it? The real Elvira. At the real. <laughs> <laughs> the real Elvira. At the real Elvira. Yeah, I know it is. Uh, and anything else? Uh, because I want, I want it all. I want to con consume it all yeah. now. <laughs> what, what's um, good? Well, my autobiography is going to be coming out, believe it or not, uh, fairly soon. It's been pushed back a little because of the whole pandemic, but mm -hmm. I worked on that for uh, the last 15 years, I guess. And uh, I think fans will <laughs> be surprised and possibly shocked. And a lot of stuff I have in there. It'll be a big surprise. Hope I'm still working after it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, might not see me you will. You um, will. You, your fans well, love you. Thank you. No matter what I do, no matter. Oh, oh yeah. Also, also, I've got to say, I'm running for president. I don't know if you heard that, but yes, uh, I'm also running for president. So that's taking up quite a bit of time campaigning, um, putting flies on my head, and you know. <laughs> you know so, so yes, well, you, running for president, and then you can go to elfire.com and buy all my swag, my campaign swag. Well, listen, you got my vote. Period. Thank you. All right, you convinced no, me. Yeah. We got two boobs in office now. Why the hell not? <laughs> I love that. Cassandra, thanks so much for, for bringing uh, your iconicness to our channel, to our website and, and stuff. I think the fans are going to love it. Um, hopefully we get you back soon. Um, very, very soon with more music videos, more positive energy in this world. Cause that that's really what we need. Thank you. Thank you. And I, I wish everybody a fantastic, Unusual, but fun Halloween. Woo!